The following short video will show you how Neurogym equipment can help therapists to fulfill their therapeutic goals for a large variety of neurologic clients. In order to do so, we'll compare how some familiar therapeutic goals are usually addressed in clinical settings with the possibilities that Neurogym equipment offers. Therapeutic goals are often similar for various neurological disorders, ranging from stroke, spinal cord injury, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, to general deconditioning. Five common goals are to maintain passive range of motion, to do balance training, work on transfers, do gait training, and to improve control and proprioception. In most clinical settings, maintaining available passive range of motion is an important goal. This is not always easy to do, as it can be strenuous for the therapist, for example, putting strain on the lower back. It's also time consuming, which may be important due to resource limitations. Because of these factors, it's often not done regularly, and as a result, a degree of passive range of motion may be lost. The pendulum stepper is a portable tool that can allow the preservation of passive range of motion. A client can actively assist the movement with the unaffected limbs. Range of motion is also preserved while working on strength and endurance with the sit-to-stand trainer. With the Neurogym ankle trainer, because of its special pivot system, a patient can perform more active dorsiflexion than would otherwise be possible. Once more active range of motion is available, the ankle trainer can be used to improve strength and proprioception. Balance training is usually performed in the parallel bars with the wheelchair behind, a safety belt, and an assistant to help. Here you see someone practicing the Berg task, the step-up task. Often clients will be seated if balance is lost. This shows single leg stance on the hemi leg holding onto the bar. This is often very difficult and it leads to the client relying on the support of the bars which in turn results in an increased reliance on walking aids. It does not practice functional balance training and moreover it does not allow neuroplasticity to take place. Neurogym equipment allows therapists to follow the gold standard in therapy for balance training. Patients must be able to experiment in order for motor learning to take place. To be safe with a walking aid, a patient should improve his balance without it. Here the client practices Berg task number 12. Or Berg task number 14, single leg standing balance. Heavier patients will benefit not only from the safe environment offered by the bungee mobility trainer, but also from the adjustable partial body weight support system that allows them to practice a task they couldn't otherwise attempt. Body weight support enables practicing the Berg task and allows weight bearing on the left hemi leg, which is so important. Also, protective steps, so important for patient safety, can be practiced safely and efficiently. Finally, side-to-side -side weight shift is usually performed in front of a mirror within parallel bars. The Neurogym biofeedback system allows much more training intensity and the bungee mobility trainer is a safe and non-restricting environment.
Transfer training is often the priority to improve patient autonomy, but very difficult to perform with heavy clients. Doing it safely requires a lot of staff. In conventional therapy settings, increasing bed height is the only way to allow sit-to-stand training, but it doesn't translate into functional standing from a wheelchair or lower bed. Moreover, it's impossible to get the required intensity and repetition of movement required for significant results. Neurogym sit-to-stand equipment allows us to be range-specific in our strengthening, and it makes it easy enough to allow high repetitions, requiring only one therapist. And it can also be used as a partial body weight support system to work on weight bearing and verticalization. Early ambulation and weight bearing activities in parallel bars are demanding for staff and teaches the client to rely on external aids. The partial body weight support system of the bungee mobility trainer allows early ambulation and weight bearing functional activities. Only one therapist is needed. Body weight support allows for more functional therapy using a quad cane. It's easy to control the hemiparetic leg. It's an adjustable body weight support system. And it's easy to let the patient rest shortly and start therapy again. The client can rest very easily if needed. The bungee mobility trainer is also ideal for more advanced gait pattern training without walking aids. Here's a client who usually walks with a cane. The bungee mobility trainer gives him a safe environment and allows him to gain skill and confidence. In comparison with other partial body weight support systems which are complex to set up, getting in and out of the bungee mobility trainer takes less than a minute and is easy to use. Setup involves attaching the safety straps, adjusting the body weight support system, and transfer is complete in about 45 seconds. The Neurogym biofeedback system allows more intensive and repetitive proprioception training. Here's how ankle proprioception exercises are commonly done. Proprioceptive exercises can be boring and inefficient without proper biofeedback. The ankle trainer isolates the movement and the speed sensitive biofeedback system multiplies the control and proprioceptive properties of the exercise. Once a client gains more control, resistance can be added to improve strength and endurance. This is an example of trunk control exercises by the bed. Typically this is done for a very short time. The same biofeedback system will make this common exercise more challenging. It will also allow for more intensity and repetition, and very importantly, it will make it fun. Simple biofeedback can be used to increase intensity in active assisted movements, which is necessary to enable neuroplasticity and to avoid learned non-use. It can even be used to work on knee control and avoid the knee hyperextension 
often seen in stroke patients. This video has illustrated the potential of the NeuroGym tools to help you fulfill your therapeutic goals more efficiently, more effectively, in an evidence-based way, while still emphasizing safety and, most of all, fun and enjoyment. We leave you with more fun and effective activities that NeuroGym makes possible for patients. Nice. You get this? Mm -hmm. Okay, and back here, come back here, come down, come down, one, two, three, four, five, oh my god, okay, but more weight on this leg, okay, you did, oh, and then when did you fall down, Cora, that's the practice, Oh, it's shaking. It's shaking.